Yo, what's happening? What's happening, man? It's your boy Smoke Mac again, man. Um, coming at y'all blog number two, Fresh Class Music. Um, you know, I just I'm doing this whole blog thing because I really want everybody to get the right perception of what I'm actually trying to do with my music, as far as insinuating a message uh, in each and every song that I do. I'm not just making the shoot 'em up bang bang songs. I'm not making the gangster uh, who I want to sell dope songs. Uh, you know, the um, pop that ass in the club song, so to speak. But uh, I just, I just, I basically want to put something out there for people to actually relate to and, and really know where I'm coming from. You know, we we all go through a lot of things, man. We all go through the struggles uh, of life. We go through the struggles of relationships. Um, we go through the struggles of, of uh, you know, fake friends. Um, we, we go through a lot of shit that I feel like needs to be addressed musically because it is the universal language. And, you know, it's a way to, to verbally get, get your point across to people that won't listen to you on the regular. So, you know, with that being said, man, this is the whole reason I'm doing this, so y'all can see me daily and understand uh, where I'm coming from and the whole concept of my music. What's down? Fucking with that jetpack. The name of the project, uh, as I stated in my first uh, blog video, is it's cool under the trees. Um, you know, it's an obvious kind of stuff, like I said before, and, and uh, the most obvious thing about it is life is much cooler under the tree. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's the obvious meaning of it all, but that's not the direction that I want everybody to think the CD is in or uh, what I'm really shooting for as far as my message go in my music. Um, me personally, I don't think marijuana is a drug. You know, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's cool recreationally and it's cool to do, you know, it's a cool thing to do and, and, you know, to me, and I'm not passing the message that everybody needs to smoke weed. You got your own thing. Whatever you do is what you do. But I'm just saying, you know, life, life, it makes life a, a lot more cool and, and, a, and a lot more laid back, you know, when you're under the tree. But, um, it also coincides with the, the simple fact that, you know, you don't have to sit and, and stress and worry about people playing you. Uh, life really just take, uh, uh, the hard struggles of life really just taking over your life, period. And, and being content and settling for anything, you know what I'm saying? I mean, daily we all go through stuff and, you know, it's just something we got to deal with. We got to roll with the punches and keep moving. You know, stay strong through it all. But at the end of the day, you know, you can take your struggles and, and you take your struggles and, and bring them together. And shit, just kick it. You know what I'm saying? Kick your feet up and, and just enjoy the breeze, man. And you know, metaphorically speaking, the breeze is life. You know, we wake up every day. We wake up every day with a new demeanor, you know, with different people that, that has came in our life or different people that has left our life. So, you know, at the end of the day, man, you just got to thank God for everything that you've been through. Kick your feet up. Enjoy the breeze and cool under the trees, man. You know, just kick it, you know. There's no need to really, there's no need to really sit there and stress about what life has offered you or what, what you see for yourself in the future or what you've been through. Worry about the now. Deal with what you're going through now. Kick your feet up the school under the tree. I got some uh I got some good producers I'm working with on this one. Um there's not really too many well-known people I'm dealing with besides precise. Uh but you know I'm I'm uh I took I took some chances with this one. Uh, I reached out, well, a few producers reached out to me. Um, Arcane, you know, that that's my partner right there. Um, he produced the track, uh, I'm All About My Paper featuring uh, Jetpack, me and my me and my little brother Jetpack on. Uh, good sounds, man. Dude, dude coming with some good, nice, quality, 
hard hit beat, so uh, you know, be on the lookout for I'm All About My Paper uh, featuring Jetpack. Um, my other, another producer I got on there is uh, Jay Wonder from Orlando. Um, he reached out to me on Twitter as well, and, and you know, we conversed through the email and, and exchanged numbers and, you know, become good friends. And, you know, he keep my email full of nice tracks, you know what I'm saying? So shout out Jay Wonder out there in Orlando. You know, he holding it down. Uh, you might want to Google him. Uh, that Piffin too, he got a mixtape out right now too. Pretty nice, so go check my homeboy out. Um, I got Sledrin on there. Uh, I got a I got a track from Sledrin. He did a few for, well, he is Wiz Khalifa's producer. Um, one of them. Uh, I reached out to him about a year ago, and you know, got this track done. And uh, you know, I don't really have a title yet. I'm still waiting to see if uh, my homeboy Chris Michael's gonna sing on there for me. Shout out, Chris. Um, if he do, that's gonna be a nice track. But if he don't, it's gonna be nice anyway. You know, uh, yeah, man. So, you know, that's Sledrin, another producer I got on there. And um, shout out, shout out Sledrin, the whole Taylor Gang movement. Um, I got another producer named Dollar Beast on there. He actually reached out to me about three weeks ago. Dudes do keep nice tracks in my email. Uh, but I got a, I got one, well, I got three tracks from him that I'm doing. One of them called Smoke Break, uh, which would be my interludes in between songs, you know. Uh, and it's not just talking about smoking. You know, it, it, you gotta you gotta grasp the whole concept of it's cool under the tree and, and really take it for what it's worth. Expand your mind and open your mind. Last but not least, I got my brother, my little brother, Blue Jay on this bit. Of course, I got Blue Jay on um, He probably sent me the most inspiring tracks that I do have uh, as far as getting the message out for you guys to really understand you know, where I'm coming at personally. You know, um, I, got a, I got a lot of personal matters on this CD that I'm really um, shooting out there to y'all and letting y'all really step in my world and see what I got going on. But Nine times, ten times out of ten, you're gonna be able to relate to it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, expand your mind. Don't take every, excuse me, take everything for what it's worth, and just enjoy the music, man. As far as features go, you know I got the team on that. Uh, I still gotta reach out to my little brother T Mal, but you know he expecting a little one right now, so they. They kind of going through the most, so uh, that's a maybe, maybe not thing. Hopefully, you know, God willingly, I can get my little brother on there. But you know, I got uh, little brother Jetpack on there. Um, I got I got uh, first lady of the cockpit Dutch on there. Um, I got Dimple. She from uh, she from New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? She assisted me on the uh, break it down song, which I'm pretty sure y'all have. If not, um, check my sound click and. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not SoundClick, SoundCloud, and you know, it'll be on there. If not, I gave it to you on my last uh, CD that I put together called Roll Up. You know, it was an introduction to uh, It's Cool Under the Tree, so you can go check it out on there. Uh, I got my big brother, Raspberry Raws, on there. You know, we, we're gonna be, we gonna be on some political type, you know, get your life together type stuff. We haven't uh, constructed a song yet, but we we uh, discussed a few tracks or whatnot. So uh, you know, my big brother gonna be on there. Um, look out for his CD too that he got coming called Politics. Gonna be nice. Um, and I got I got my two little my two little homies, man. My dogs from New Orleans, Deep in Space, man. Uh, man, them boys real talented. I feel like they the next to go in New Orleans or Louisiana. Period. You know what I'm saying? There's some real stand-up dudes, man. They make some real good songs with some real good meaning. Uh, Y'all might want to Google deep in, just a regular in space. Go check them out, man. They got their last album, 211 with Night. Y'all go check that out if y'all didn't. But um, yeah, that's a few of the features I got on there. So, you know, school under the trees.
As far as the concepts go and songs that I have written already, which is uh, a plethora of songs, I have a lot of songs written already. Um, it's dealing with, I have a song called Next Lifetime, all right? Next Lifetime really reflects on uh, two past relationships I was in. That slightly, you know, pushed me over the edge into thinking that there's no, there's no, there's no good women out there. But at the same time, in the song, I do, I don't talk about these two women bad, but I do describe that what we've been through, how we started, how great it was, what we've been through, and the regrets I have with not actually following through the relationship with these women. But at the end of each verse, I just had to describe that, you know, I gotta let it go. Regardless of, of the situation, they both moved on with their life, you know, so you gotta let them live it, be happy for them, and pray everything goes right. And, you know, that they live, you know, through the grace of God. Um, I got another song on there called Inside My Love. It's describing me. Um, it's not bashing anyone from my past, even though uh, it kind of goes back to the last few relationships I was in. Um, it's not singling one out. It's not doing any of that. And I'm not describing these women as being horrible women because they aren't. If they was, I wouldn't have been with them. But, um, you know, it's just a song about us, about me, but us as humans, basically, the ones that just open up and give their heart to the first person they meet. You know what I'm saying? You got to back off it. Chill out and keep, keep striving for what you know you need to do. You know, so this, that was a self-inflicted song to myself for my fans, which I'm pretty sure, uh, not fans, but my supporters, that y'all will pretty much uh, touch up on and relate to as well. Um, I got money songs on there, like all about my throw me and jetpack. We really do our thing on that one. Um, that one just stated basically um, that, you know, I mean, God first, of course, family, then man, get money, man. Because if you ain't getting money, you ain't getting shit. You know what I'm saying? You out here, you out there on your knees begging, man. So, uh, you know, get up off your ass and do something. You know, that, that's pretty much what it is. So I just, I just want to thank y'all in advance, you know what I'm saying, for whoever downloaded, whoever listened, whoever followed, retweet, um, pass to a friend, then tried to listen to it, couldn't stand it. Uh, you know, I want to thank all y'all, man. I want to thank the ones in advance that's really following this blog, that really follow my music and show uh, an interest in what I got going on and, and what this whole first class music thing is about. Um, like I said, it's a lot more exciting stuff coming in the future that we really have planned for y'all. And I hope y'all enjoy everything that we doing, man, because it's from the bottom of the heart. We not doing none of this for kudos. We not doing none of this for women. We not doing none of this for the wrong reason, man. We doing this for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I mean, just keep it tight, man, and keep fucking with us. Keep flying with the plane. First class music. Appreciate y'all. I'm out.